In middle school, I told a friend that I wanted to die. And they said, then you better die naked. What the heck? That's embarrassing. If that embarrasses you, if you're still bothered by what other people will think of you, then you can't die just yet. I feel that this quote embodies Ryuji's character really well. In this one simple exchange, you can already gather so much information about Ryuji's past. In middle school, I told a friend that I wanted to die. It implies that Ryuji had some troubling circumstances in his past. Maybe one that has to do with his family that may have led him to consider suicide. And the fact that he can be open to this friend that Ryuji mentions shows the level of trust between the two. Not only that, but the fact that Ryuji is still alive today and that Ryuji still holds this memory near and dear to his heart emphasizes the importance of this memory and this friend to him. That what this friend said may be the sole reason that he is still alive today. Even if it hurts. But let's dial it back and go back to the context of this exchange. In the manga thus far, Riji has been combating some internal turmoil that was sprinkled and foreshadowed throughout the manga. Although Blue Period mainly focuses on Yatora Yaguchi as he is quite literally the main character of the manga, each side character that accompanies Yaguchi's art journey does in some way aid him in whatever situation that he's in, whether it be in teaching him a new art technique or providing him with a new and different perspective on a subject or just being a good friend. But for this instance, Ryuji is the one that is calling out for Yaguchi's help, and the problem that Ryuji faces is the struggle of identity. And so, what do I mean by that? What does the struggle of identity mean? To me, the struggle of identity is simply defined as to stray away from who you originally were. And Ryuji inhabits that definition to a T. This struggle is presented in the manga in two ways. Firstly, in the way of Ryuji's love, and secondly, conformity. Is it that wrong to dress like a girl? What's so weird about wanting to look cute? Wanting to be pretty, and for a guy to be attracted to another guy. My love is the only thing that protects me. The love that Ryuji talks about isn't his love for cross-dressing, nor is it his sexuality. Instead, the love that Ryuji is talking about is his love for Ryuji Ayukawa. And that love is the only thing that protects him. That's why, despite his parents' disapproval of the way he lives, Ryuji still presses on and continues to live his life the way he wants it to be. To the point where he is even willing to completely cut ties with his family, if it means that he can continue to be himself. As a result, Ryuji had to find another source of love, and the only other source of love that he can get is from romantic relationships. But in every instance that Ryuji does find someone else, it'll come crumbling down sooner or later. So with that, the only so the only reliable what the fuck motherfucker dude. So with that, the only reliable source of love that he can get is from himself. The love that he couldn't get from home. The love that he couldn't get from relationships. The love that he can only get from Ryuji Ayukawa. That's why, in the exchange, he questions society's views on cross-dressing and attraction because those are the things that he loves and those are the things that makes Ryuji, Ryuji. Leading him to question whether if the things that he loves are wrong, hinting at his conformity. And as for Yaguchi, he can only sit there in silence and sympathize for Ryuji. Through the course of the manga, Yaguchi's perception of Ryuji changed. After all, Ryuji was the one that dragged him into the art club. Ryuji was the one that helped Yaguchi break out of his shell and find something that he actually enjoys. And so, when one of his close friends decides to give up on something that he used to be passionate about, changes his entire demeanor, and changes the way he speaks, Yaguchi feels the need to help Ryuji out like how he did for him. But instead, but that's exactly why, Yatora. If you see someone drowning, you're the kind of person that go get the life preserver, but you never jump into the water to save them yourself. If all you can do is talk down to me, when you're always hiding behind what's right, then there's nothing I could ever say to you. A bit harsh, but it's the truth. Yaguchi only became an art student fairly recently in the manga. Before this, Yaguchi was living a relatively simple life living a life according to the wishes of others. He was never the fun-loving, anxiety-inducing art drawer that we have come to love. Yaguchi was a delinquent who had the intelligence of a scholar and the charms of a... Um... Wait, give me a second. Charms. 
charms of a snake. Yeah. Which, contrasted to how Riji's been living, is vastly different. Yaguchi never had to experience the pain of being himself, being judged for dressing the way he does, nor have his parents throw everything he owns into the trash, hoping that he runs away. So when Yaguchi waddles into Ryuji's problems trying to solve it for him, obviously, Ryuji's going to be pissed. Even though well-intentioned, Yaguchi needs to try harder if he really wants to help Ryuji, which he does. Hey, if I see someone drowning, I'll always go find the life preserver first. After all, if I jump into the water too, we might both end up drowning. But if that's the only way, then I'll gladly jump in too. Where are you? Everything that I've been building up until now culminates into this one singular chapter titled Our Color Blue. In this chapter, we see Yaguchi and Ryuji running away to the beach and find lodging at a local hotel. The hotel is supposed to be a metaphor for the ocean. The ocean that Ryuji is drowning in and the ocean that Yaguchi is jumping into. It is in this chapter where both these characters finally confront their demons together in a very weird but symbolic way, presented through their nude painting. Now, if you don't know anything about art like me, the idea of a nude painting sounds like weirdo shit. But it's symbolic in the way where both of them essentially strip down to their core, metaphorically and literally. Which means that they will have nothing to hide, resulting in having both Yaguchi and Ryuji confront all of their weakness and strengths, their persona and reality, and most importantly, their ugliness and beauty. And it's what makes Our Color Blue so good, because the whole chapter is just these two talking. So much so that every single dialogue, every single panel, and every single detail is meant to represent the struggles that these two had to face up until this point. Which makes the chapter incredibly intimate, confided within the walls of that room. The only barrier between them is nothing. This time, instead of simply sitting in silence and sympathizing for Ryuji, Yaguchi metaphorically jumps into the ocean because only the people who have drowned themselves can share the terror of the sea or the pain of suffocating underwater. If you want to be able to understand how that person feels, you have no choice but to jump into the water too. Basically, a fancy way of saying to be able to empathize. And to be able to do so, Yaguchi reveals his own struggles. Finding something you love is a great thing, but when it is such a dramatic shift from who you originally were, it brings about its own set of challenges. Without going into too much detail, Yaguchi used to pretend to be confident in the pursuit of social acceptance, just like how Ryuji is now. But when Yaguchi discovered art and realized that in art, it's all about self-expression and having fun, Yaguchi realized that he can't pretend to have fun. Because having fun is such a genuine emotion, and coupled with the fact that he had been suppressing his own emotions all this while, he found it increasingly difficult to paint, as he can't find what he truly wants to say. Thankfully though, Yaguchi has supportive friends, family, and supportive teachers that recognize his problems and played a huge part in helping him resolve it. Ryuji, on the other hand, is not so lucky, as you already know. But Yaguchi proves Ryuji wrong by being his only true supportive friend. Yaguchi was the only one to notice Ryuji changing the way he talks. And as a quick side note, in the original translation of the manga, Ryuji used Ode. which is the masculine form of I. But from chapter 18 onwards, Ryuji started using which is the feminine form. So to show this change, the English translators slightly tweaked Ryuji's font, which is a very cool detail. This is significant because this was the peak of his struggle, as well as evidence for his conformity. As Ryuji figured that with the way he looks, it would be better off if he was only attracted to men, which is the reason why he became more feminine, to conform to society's view of him. For Ryuji, his love for himself is unreliable because he himself is unreliable. He forgets what he loves, which leads him to conform to society, but then that betrays his original characterization. So then he has to live with the guilt and pain of being a hypocrite in exchange for attention and affection. Loving yourself is important, no doubt about it, but being loved is just as if not more important. And being loved is what Ryuji lacked. And so, to solve the struggle of identity, Ryuji needs to be reminded of who he is and that he is loved, which Yaguchi does. During this whole fiasco of running to the ocean, Yaguchi is in the middle of a very important exam that will determine whether or not he gets to pursue art as a career. But instead of using his precious and valuable time to practice, Yaguchi instead sacrificed it for Ryuji. As well as how Ryuji is reminiscent to Yaguchi of the past, which is the reason why Yaguchi was able to empathize with Ryuji's struggle in the first place. 
By the end of Our Color Blue, Ryuji and Yaguchi part ways to find their own battles. Yaguchi still has his exams and Ryuji decided to pursue a career in fashion. But this time, Ryuji knows that he isn't alone and that he is loved. And so, I'll end with this. You're right. That's why this painting feels unbound and it's great. Showing your own nakedness and having be seen is to accept who you really are. The pretty and the ugly. It's pretty hard, you know. There's a lot of people out there who stay clothed their whole lives. Hello! If you made it this far into the video, first of all, thank you. This video means a lot to me as this chapter really affected me emotionally and I hope that I was able to show that with this video. And I hope that this video also incites some interest in the manga because I think that it's a masterpiece. Like seriously, I can't wait for the anime adaptation and watch this scene animated with voice acting, like professional, proper voice acting. I'll probably cry, <laughs> no joke. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching and consider subscribing.